Four games down and four victories for the Kenyan men's soccer team after a big weekend in Pittsburgh, coming off a come-from-behind win against Frostburg State. And joining us to speak about the team so far in the early season is defender Henry Myers. Henry, thanks for taking time out of your day. And uh, obviously, we're off to a good start. And I know things were a little iffy against uh, Frostburg uh, a few days ago, but we come back. Uh, this team knows how to play on the road. We've seen it over the course of the course of the last couple of years. Uh, in your estimation, what would be the biggest thing for us so far that you know we can predicate our success on? You know, with four victories. Yeah, I mean, you said it right there. Uh, when it gets down to it, we're just trying to win games, right? So as long as we're coming out of games with wins, then we're we're pretty happy about that. And when we have these closer games early in the season, I think that it's a good thing also that we can build on because yeah. if we're involved in these close games, that we can build off of that and sort of learn from those experiences. I saw Coach Moore a little bit a uh, while ago and. We kind of had that offensive breakthrough. You know, the first two matches were kind of tight, but we had three goals uh, against Catholic, three goals against uh, Frostburg State. Uh, was it kind of a, I don't want to say a long time coming, but was that a kind of a breath of fresh air to see, you know, several shots go into the back of the net? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, anytime you're not scoring at the beginning of the year, it's, it's not necessarily like worrisome because we know that our offense is good and yeah. we always knew that they were going to break through, but we just needed them to do it at some point. And yeah, three goals in each of those games is really nice to see. The comebacks. I, again, I, I want to bring that up because when we're on the road and we're down, a lot of teams will, will fold. But you know, we just keep playing. There's not. We don't really worry about what the the situation in the game. What, what does that mean for our team? I know we've won a lot of games around here the last few years, but just describe that mental, uh, you know, makeup of our squad. Where I mean, we're never down and out ever. Yeah, at this point, over the last couple of years, we've come to expect to win. And that doesn't mean that we're taking opponents for granted or anything like that, but it means that when we do go down, we show a certain level of resiliency yeah. where we know that if we just play our game, stay the course, that some uh, we're going to score some goals, and we'll be right back in it. On the back end, what do you see as maybe the biggest, uh, I don't know if challenge is the right word, but, the word, but what, what is the biggest point of emphasis in your eyes for us you know, becoming a more complete team as the season progresses? I think uh, a lot of the defending from the back really, in reality, starts from the front. The, right. the more that the forwards can press, that the attacking mids can close people down, the less the defenders have to do. So I guess the biggest point of emphasis for the defenders is sort of pushing people forward, getting people to get to the balls quicker so that we can do less. Is it relieving to have a home match finally? I know we, we only have six on the calendar right now mm -hmm. uh, before potentially uh, postseason, but uh, we get musking them tomorrow. Is that just a breath of fresh air to be able to do, all right, we're going to sit back, relax, have a dorm room to ourselves and not be in a hotel? Yeah, we love playing at Mavic. We love our fans. Like you said, it's nice to sleep in your own bed, yeah. eat food that you're accustomed to. Uh, playing at home is just the best, and we're really looking forward to it. A year ago, I was on the road with you with uh, the Muskingum match, and I remember that halftime, uh, and I'm sure you do too. And uh, Coach Brown, you know, kind of got after the guys a little bit, and we got the victory, which is you know most important. But those guys coming in here tomorrow, uh, what's the expectation? Obviously, we we want to get the W, but what's the uh, What's the mindset coming from on the road for four matches back home and you know just kind of setting the tone early? Yeah, so we've been on the road and we're all excited to get back home, but we need to remember that we have a game to play, we have a job to do, and the win in the end of the day is the most important thing, but we want to play well along the way too. Quickly, folks, we're going to show you a clip at some point this week. Uh, senior Tony Amolo had... It doesn't happen often, a rainbow kick <laughs> against Frostburg State. He's in the corner, and I don't want to say miraculously because obviously he has some skill, but a rainbow kick to get by a defender, you're on the, you're on the tail end. What's going through your mind when you see Tony pull off uh, that move? Yeah, it's just wild. He, Tony's a little bit of a unicorn in that he's <laughs> the combination of like speed, power, finesse. He can finish. And so when he does stuff like that, like it's amazing and yeah. surprising. But like in reality, we kind of see that kind of thing a lot out of him. So it was fun to see, but we could we expect it sometimes. Okay, Henry, <laughs> thanks for your time. Good luck tomorrow against Muskingum, and we'll catch you out there at Mavic. All right, thanks. That was defender Henry Myers. The Lords are 4-0, and they climbed all the way to the number two ranking on the D3.com, D3Soccer.com poll uh, just this morning. You get a chance to see them tomorrow at 5 o'clock as Muskingum comes to town for another non-conference match. For Henry Myers, I'm Clayton Kaufman. We'll see you next time.